nobody out for Jacoby Davis. Center fielder, number 22, Jacoby Davis. Davis has wreaked havoc in every single game this series. He can fly in the field, flies on the base paths. And to date, has four stolen bases in two games here. Reese's pitch is spoiled off the mask of Milner. Counts 0-1. We saw a little more success in the first inning for Reese against the left-handed hitters. Pitches from the far first base side of that rubber, and, and that's the money pitch against the lefty. That inside slider. A, a front hit breaking ball it is so tough to stay in against for a lefty. 0-2. Spoiled, fouled over the grandstand. We'll do it all over again. Cornell pushing across a run on the Joe Hollerback RBI triple. He remains at third. Matt Barnhorst is over at first. Pitch on the way. Barnhorst is off. No call on this pitch. Milner pump fakes the throw to second. Barnhorst in with the stolen base. And the pitch at home plate is called a ball. The umpires for today's game, by the way, Jason Klump calling balls and strikes. Will Bowers, first base umpire, John Grasso at third. Pitch sails high and away. Count now two and two. Now Reese will step off and look the runner back. Yale's paid a lot of attentions early on to these runners on second base. Much more than we saw with Easterly on the mound. The 2-2. Two -two. Popped up in the foul ground. Swank giving chase, but he watches it sail onto the grandstand. There is an arm up and getting loose in the Yale bullpen. Pitch number 30 of the outing for Reese is looped in the right center field. That's a base hit. Cut off by Chatfield. Two runs will score. A two-run single for Jacoby Davis. A three spot in the inning for the Big Red. It's 4-1 Cornell. Shortstop, number 18, TJ Swidorski. Worked in that bat, a, a good one at that. Saw a couple of tough pitches, spoiled them, and then finally Myers pokes that one back up to shoot to extend this lead. It, it looks like Richardson is up in the pen for Yale. And Reese very worried about Davis at first, and he should be. Davis can fly with the best of them. And it's got him leading off at first, but couldn't get the tag down. Reese had him by a step, but oh. just couldn't get it over. Shaw him. started bouncing towards second, where you would assume Davis keeps running on that pickoff. And that forced Shaw to be off balance, and Davis got back in. Davis clearly going on first move from the left-handed throwing Reese, and he's off the pitch. Missed high, the throw down to second base. Sails past Williams in the center field. Davis glides into third base. Stolen base and then a throwing error on the catcher Milner. More trouble lurking for Yale as the speedy Davis is at third base. And already the call's been made to the bullpen. Pitching coach Chris Wojcik out to the mound. New arm to come in for the Bulldogs as the Big Red push across three in the top of the second and threaten with more. We'll be back with the rubber game of this Ivy League matchup on ESPN+. Plus. Well, the Yale Club for me has become a second home. With 13,000 members. Put up a personal zero here and a couple more moving forward for Yale. If there was ever a saving grace, 
Well, Corey now. A personal zero. That closes the book on. By to center and an RBI for Swidorski. A four spot for Cornell and it's five. Do your thing and put up a personal zero here and a couple more moving forward for Yale. If there was ever a saving grace for Cornell as that pitch is bunted on the road. 1-1, one, one, spoiled back. He's still responsible for Jacoby Davis, who's at third base. The number nine hitter, T.J. Swidorski, he cranks that one to center field. A.J. Geich ranges in, makes the catch. Davis tags from third. Geich's throw cut off. Sacrifice fly to center and an RBI for Swidorski. A four spot.